Ah, what's up? Welcome back to- Hello, welcome back to the second channel. I'm Cody. And Co. Uh, we're back and hanging out and it's gonna be a good time. First thing, if you like this shirt, they're out today. Or, I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but they're out. We just did this on a whim because I don't know if you saw, but I brought the- I brought Insanely Chill back. And the first episode is out. Kelsey and I go through the old episodes when she first became my girlfriend and she came on the show. And, uh, so we watched clips of that. It was really awesome and fun and just like wholesome and just felt great. So go watch that. I also dropped uh, this shirt, puff print. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's like honestly like my favorite shirt I've ever done. I fucking love it. And so this is out now. Jim, the guy that does our art for TMG Studios, he did the new logo. I'm excited about it. So anyways, so today we're on the subreddit called Cringe Picks. Cringe Picks. And we're gonna do some serious cringing. Matching butterfly tattoo fail. So this is what they wanted and this is what they got. Holy fuck, what is that, a sperm? Is that a sperm with like a little hair? It's a sperm with like sick long hair and he's like cruising so fast to get to the egg. And his hair's like, uh, uh, you know? I'm gonna become a human. That's awesome. Or it's just a straight up cock. Could be a dick as well. All things considered, not that bad of a tattoo. At least you got a funny story out of it. It's fucking awesome. Honestly. Damn, she is distraught too. Just get it covered up or get it removed. Also, I like that hers was the one that ended up shitty. Like this one's relatively fine. You can tell kind of what it is. It's not like this. Actually, no, I, you can't tell what that is. It looks more like a dick than this one. My BFF and I got matching penis tattoos. I mean, look at this shit. What is that? It's a magnifying glass, right? But you people could be like, what is that, a lollipop? I guess it kind of looks like a dick and balls right there, right? That was a ball sack. That was the kind of the dick. So I feel you. You know, we're matching, the three of us. <laughs> Let's go. BFFs for F. How the fuck do you even walk off the property like that? I mean, what what is she to do? What do you do? You look in the mirror and you're like, oh fuck. Can you fix it? Like at that point, it's like, you don't want them to touch the art anymore because you already did a bad job. You're just going to make it worse, right? It's like when you're at a haircut and it looks really good and then they just keep going and it ends up looking shitty, you know? It's like, not that this looks good, but I'm saying like cut your losses. That's what I'm saying. Get the fuck out of there. Have someone else handle it. I got a random article about this on my Google timeline. The two women went, first of all, someone wrote a f article about this. Jesus. The two women went to another artist who actually went and made the tattoo actually look like a butterfly. At least it had a happy ending. A happy ending? Ah. Looking for our first home. Found this place. Went from zero to Dracar Noir. What is this? You guys are rolling your eyes right now, aren't you? Is this a joke? It's a fragrance? Is it a joke? What is the, what is the joke here? Am I stupid? Looks like a pretty good scent. Oh gee, how can I smell like I have a herbaceous heart with a powerful woody base? <laughs> I feel like I've described myself like that before. If you need a bio for a dating app, this is it. Herbaceous heart ending on a powerful woody base. <laughs> there you go, dudes. So anyways, let's see what this house is about. Okay, foyer, foyer, whatever, however you pronounce that, looking sort of normal, I mean, pretty ugly, but. Okay, furniture getting a little weird and wacky here. Okay, statue, spore? Who is spore? Okay, statue in your home, on carpet, in front of a door, not really following the aesthetics here. Oh my god, this is legendary. Steve's palace. Oh my god, I bet you Steve would be the dopest dude to party with. And he definitely, I see why you say Drake R. Noir now, because he definitely reeks like that cologne. For sure. Are these trophies or they're just like st more sculptures and gold bars? These are gold bars. Oh, that's sick. This is not tacky at all. This is actually sick. I wonder if this is a statue of Steve right there with a gold package or maybe a gold leaf or something. I don't know. My, my eye is drawn right to the package. God, this fucking slaps. I wonder, is he selling it furnished? <laughs> Cause that has to only help, you know? Listen, I love the house. I need it furnished. And my name's not even Steve. <laughs> That's how much I like it. I'm leaving that fucking sign up too. No, cause this was yours. It's your palace. I'm just living in it, brother. You're the pussy monster. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Steve, this, the vagina slayer. Steve, the best peen. Some catchphrases that he's probably used. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I love ice cream cones. Without the ice cream. Happy National Ice Cream Cone Day. What the fuck is happening here? You know, I think the easiest thing to say here is well, you're a psychopath we just eat the cone no ice cream who are you but like it's a waffle it's like a crepe it's like a fucking they make it in a waffle it's like a tasty thin waffle so yeah i don't fucking eat the cone 
What if he's lactose intolerant? Doesn't want the dairy, just wants to enjoy the cone. Who are we to say that, oh, what are you, a psychopath? Why do you need a fucking waffle to eat ice cream off of anyways? You don't even eat them together, you eat them separately. So putting ice cream on a fucking cone is just as psycho. Why do you need to put it on something so you can lick it? Eat it in a bowl with a spoon, like everything else. Do we do that with anything else? Put it on something else and then, do we? I don't know, I can't think of a single thing. Anyways, I have no idea who this guy is. Oh, he's the Surgeon General. Damn, I should probably know that. I spotted this when going through my grandpa's things after he passed. Gid Roundtree plays with himself. <laughs> That's not cringe at all. He definitely meant to do that, and it's fucking hilarious, and he's a legend. So, big rip to Gid. My mother-in-law's lawn guy thinks this is flirting. He's 41, by the way. But in that world, I am a badass paladin. Look at that armor set. Okay, now I will stop. Oh. That's a bummer. She has the cake and eats it too. Isn't it hilarious that you look like a normal human being at the coffee shop, meanwhile, you're a multi six to seven fig monthly earner, CEO of a global brand, plus do things in one day that most people can't even comprehend doing in their lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, this is perfect. This is a perfect post. That is hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> no, it actually is hilarious, but not for the reason that you think it is. What stuck out to me about this is the phrase global brand. Global brand. Like, I know you just put global in front of brand to make yourself seem more important than you are. But if you start an internet thing, is that not a global brand? People watch my YouTube videos in fucking Australia. Does that make me a global influencer? Yes, it fucking does. That's what it says on my business card, of which I have plenty and give out often. Global phenom. How to make the rules, okay? I didn't write it. Actually, I did. Do things in one day that most people can't even comprehend doing in their lifetime. What could that mean? Drugs? DMT or something? What could, what could you possibly be doing that someone else can't comprehend ever doing it? You sell fucking, you buy products off Alibaba probably and sell them on your own website. It's not that cool. A lot of people do that. That's definitely what you do. I think most people have the intellectual capacity to comprehend what drop shipping is. What do we got next? Horrible Halloween. <laughs> oh my God. I've, I've seen this before, but damn. Damn, that got me. That hit me pretty hard. That's a funny idea, and then to actually do it is a pretty crazy level up, honestly. Like, the, you, it, it deserves respect. They thought CLI, Christian Life International, alone wouldn't signify a church, so they added the cross. Magnificent. Clit. That's fucking awesome. That's not cringe at all. Who's posting this? under a cringe subreddit. This is awesome and hilarious. All right, guys, thanks for cringing with me today. Code Ash Official, if you want one of the shirts, go check out Insanely Chill. And uh, I'm gonna keep making vids on this channel because these are fun and I like them. And I love you. <laughs> Bye.